Wede, get loud for Karamo Brown. Hey. hey friends, how y'all doing? So friends, my name is Karamo and I'm on a show on Netflix called Queer Eye. That, where I help people all over the world work towards overcoming those issues that are stopping them from doing what they want and living the life they have always dreamed of. Now, can I be real with y'all for a second? All right, cool. Now, growing up in the South, in my Jamaican and Cuban household, I had many dreams. How many of y'all in here got dreams? All right. With my mind swirling with images of myself helping people, being famous on TV, being a fashion designer, and even one day maybe being a politician, but some, yeah, all right. Young voters, I like that. But some of my friends, some of my teachers, even the media, and even some of the members of my family would tell me that my dreams wouldn't come true. They would say, Karamo, you're too black to make your dreams come true. They'd say, Karamo, you're too gay to make those dreams come true. They'd say, Karamo, your parents are from another country and you don't have much. You're too poor to make your dreams come, ha come true. Karamo, because of the way you look or how much you weigh, you will never make your dreams happen. Now, if you have ever heard someone say to you that because of who you naturally and beautifully are, that somehow you wouldn't be able to do what you want and deserve, I want you to say with me, yes, King. Yes, King. All right, just want to make sure I wasn't alone in here. Now, to be honest, hearing those negative messages made me feel really bad about myself. Many times I wouldn't even express to anyone how bad it made me feel to hear those things. Now, as an adult, I wish I would have told people how I was feeling instead of keeping it bottled up inside. But luckily, as I was finishing high school, I heard something that changed my life forever. I heard, stop being afraid of the word no. I realized that every time someone said I wasn't going to be able to do something, they were basically telling me no. And what I know to be true about every human being is that when we hear the word no, we start to believe that it means we aren't good enough, that we won't be happy or successful. But that's not true. All right, I grew up, I want you to turn to your neighbor and repeat after me. Say neighbor. neighbor. Do not. Be afraid, be afraid of the word no. The word no. Good job. <laughs> Friends, believe me, the word no is actually helping you to get to the life you want. Anytime you are told the word no, you have to think of it as a stepping stone towards the life you want. Trust me, I know it's easier to get a yes, but it's just as easy to remember that no is actually getting you one step closer to your dreams. And I love you as well. Each no is a lesson. If you're told, no, you can't do this because of your race, you remember the next time to say, actually, I will do it because of my race. Because your race has given you a point of view that makes you special and valuable. If someone says no because of how much money you have or don't have, you say, actually, I will do. <laughs> because the amount of money I have now does not mean I won't be successful in the future. I want each of you friends each day to practice, each day remembering that you shouldn't be sad when you hear the word no. It just means you now know what to say and what to do, so you receive a yes next time. 
All right, look at me. All those people who told me, no, I couldn't help people, no, I couldn't be on TV, no, I couldn't be a fashion designer, no, I couldn't work in book politics because of who I am, they are all watching me doing it. And that is your future too. If you love every part of yourself and stop being afraid of the word no, trust me, it's gonna happen. You believe that, friends? All right, I love you, friends, and I want you to remember one thing. Do it one more time for me. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor. neighbor. I am perfectly designed. designed. I love you all, friends.